In this video, we'll learn about the Cartesian plane, which helps us describe points in two dimensions. So when we use the Cartesian coordinate system, what we see here is that we've got two number lines. We've got one number line running horizontally, and we call that number line the x-axis. And then we've got another number line running vertically, and we call that number line the y-axis. So when we think about a single number line, a number gives us a way to describe a position on that one number line. But when we have two number lines, using two numbers helps us describe a position in two-dimensional space. So for example, if I were to write down the coordinates 3, 2, in which we write this way, where I put the 3, 2 in parentheses, then that describes a point where I, I'm at position 3 on the x-axis and position 2 on the y-axis. And so together, those two numbers describe a position in space, which is right about here. So that point in space, we describe using the coordinates 3, 2. We write the x number first and the y number second. Uh, to give you another example, we could look at the point 1, negative 4. So that would be at the position 1 on the x-axis and negative 4 on the y-axis. So together, those two numbers describe a position that is right about here. So that would be the point 1, negative 4. So our coordinates could be positive, they could be negative, in fact they could be 0. Uh, to give you another example, right over here would be the point negative 3, comma, 0. Because I'm at negative 3 on the x-axis, and I'm at 0 on the y-axis. So together those two numbers tell me that I'm at the point negative 3, comma, 0. In fact, both coordinates could be 0, in which case I'm located right here where the two axes cross each other. So right there, that would be the point 0, comma, 0. And that point is so special that we give it a special name, and that's called the origin. So if we ever refer to the word origin, we're talking about the point 0, comma, 0. And like, it, like I said, a lot of times we just call that the origin. These pairs of numbers are also sometimes called ordered pairs. So an ordered pair is simply a, a two numbers separated by a comma. And we use the word ordered because if I change the order of the two numbers, that changes the point. For example, remember our first point, which was 3, 2. Does the order of those numbers matter? What if I had 2, 3? Well, 2, 3 is at a different place. That means I'm at 2 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis. So this point right here would be the point... 2, 3. So the order matters, and that's why we call those ordered pairs. Now something else that we'll often do when we have our coordinate system, just draw a quick set of axes here again. So here's my x-axis, here's my y-axis, is we'll often talk about the quadrants that these two axes divide our plane into. So right up here in the upper right, we call this location quadrant 1. So all of these points up here that are above the x-axis and to the right of the y-axis, we call that quadrant 1. Another way to think about which points that is, is that these are points that have a positive x-coordinate and also a positive y-coordinate. So if we think about it that way, quadrant 1 is all of the points where x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. Quadrant 2 is over here. These are the points where my x-coordinate is negative and my y-coordinate is positive. So I have a negative x-coordinate, but a positive y-coordinate. And that gives me all of these points over here in what we call quadrant 2. So x is negative, but y is still positive. Down here is quadrant 3 in the lower left. And that tells us about points where our x-coordinate is negative still. But now our y-coordinate is also negative, and so that describes all of these points down here in quadrant 3. x is negative, and y is negative. And then finally, quadrant 4 is down here in the lower right. And that's where x is positive, but y is negative. So that just gives us a convenient way to talk about where points uh, live in, in our plane. So we'll often refer to these quadrants as we move forward in the course. So at this point you should be familiar with some vocabulary words that we've discussed in this video. 
You should understand what the axes are, both the x-axis and the y-axis. You should know where the origin is. You should understand how coordinates describe points in space. And you should also understand the four quadrants.